Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica doing a wrap-up video for our seminars in Thailand. We did not get all of the footage that we wanted here in Thailand. What I learned was that I need to hire and bring a camera person with me because normally I do a lot of stuff on my own, but when traveling in a foreign country like this, with language barriers and everything else, I should probably bring somebody to help me out. The primary focus for me always is as a coach. So we were up at 6.30 every day to do our pre-workout, discuss each individual client's needs, talk about how we needed to modify our overall plan for the day. And then we get right into training at 8.30. We train through in blocks until 12.30. Then we take lunch break, we come back and we train until 5.30 or 6, depending on the day. We all went to a team dinner every day. I think it is super important to do team dinners at events like this, because I want this to be as much about the adventure and the community building as anything else. We're thinking about not calling these retreats anymore because retreat seems to imply to people that it's gonna be generally easier than it really is. In reality, this is some type of external training adventure. People are up at six, they go to bed at nine, they're in bed for eight hours, they're up and they're doing it again. We fill minute to minute of absolutely everything every single day. Hi. Everybody who came to the seminar improved rapidly and markedly. I heard from people that maybe the content of the seminar is not entirely clear, and that is definitely my fault for not fully communicating what's going to happen. The seminars are based on staff, and we are relating the movement of OODA loop drills, attack, orient, decide, unchoreographed fight drills. We start with long sticks because it creates the most time and space for people to learn to react. We start to make people move, and the goal of that is to help people discover the purpose of warrior stance in yoga. Warrior one, warrior two. I'm gonna stay at that hotel next time, that looks dope. Warrior one and warrior two are universal athletic postures because they are involved in turning around to face things behind you. Warrior one and warrior two are not fully clear to people. We are letting people experimentally determine why they need to practice warrior one, warrior two, and athletic stagger stance movement drills by starting them simple in the standing position and adding complexity until they are forced to make the choice. The more they turn around, the more efficient they are, the more the steps turn into warrior one and warrior two stance. Every martial art in human history uses these postures. We are coming at it from a yoga perspective because I'm teamed up with Summer Huntington of Flo Shala and we're looking at yoga from its evolutionary origin as martial arts posture practice. We cycle with staff and then people realize the importance of mace 360s because the most common attack in all of human history looks like a mace 360. They have the same movement origin. The same thing is true of the heavy club shield cast. We are allowing people to determine the idea of what is the most important thing that they can do by letting them determine it experimentally. The idea basis origin of this is what they have you do in university level physics, where you calculate gravity so that you fully understand what it is. You have an incline, you have a ball, you roll it down, you time the descent of the ball, then you do a bunch of math based on the angle of the ramp, and everybody, if they run the experiment long enough, comes up with 9.81 meters per second squared. This is the same idea. We're setting up an experiment and we're repeating it until everybody comes to the same conclusion from having so much experimental data that they see the origins of the most common blocks and the most common attacks in human history are Mace 360s and shield cast. Then we build out from there with all this stuff. So this is a yoga seminar, a heavy club seminar, a mace seminar, and an OODA loop self-defense seminar, starting with long sticks and moving towards the short sticks. Long sticks allow people more time because the stick moves further in space to figure out what they need to do and to line up their body behind it. This is not how martial arts are taught. This is only how I teach it. Most people in martial arts would not let you touch weapons 
for the first five years of martial arts training, and they would train you only in open or empty hand movements. I do it exactly the opposite of that, and I do that because humans have thumbs and we are lever users. If you weigh less than somebody, the odds of you winning a fight are low. That's why there are weight classes in martial arts. So I've trained a lot of women, models, actresses, and everything. If they really wanted to defend themselves, the best thing that they could possibly do would be to pick up a weapon and learn how to use it most effectively. Long sticks lead to short sticks, lead to metal sticks, which are machetes or peasants' agricultural big knives. Then after that, we take away the weapons, then we would do empty hand. That is beyond the scope of this seminar, but that will be in future seminars. We're gonna keep trying to edit and see what we got. We mostly filmed students so that we could go back and look at their movement later day by day to see what they did well and when they did it so that we can engineer the experience to be better next time. That is always the idea. These are ongoing practices and these seminars are gonna to continue to go and get more elaborate over time. We had a couple of athletes who were repeats we had a guy named Travis. This was his third seminar. He was a monster, stepped hard, hit hard, got really good, really fast. We had another gentleman named Brian, his second seminar. He hit really hard. Uh, it was fascinating and amazing. Everybody came out of that seminar drastically improved and forever changed. That's the idea. Change people forever. Things that they learn experimentally I never have to tell them or teach them. And we have altered the structure of their brain forever, and they will never be able to forget what they learned in that five-day period. That's the goal. That's always the goal. We are getting really deep up into coaching theory and what the human body actually needs for training, why, how much, and when. It gets super nerdy, but that's kind of the point of this channel, to learn skills, the most important ones, in the best way possible, in the shortest period of time, with the least amount of nonsensical bullshit. We do nothing that does not have a purpose because I'm old and I am too lazy to do shit that doesn't matter or doesn't yield results.